Mr. Kim is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, General McKenzie, I wanted to start with you. You said reports about you engaging with the Taliban about a red line around Kabul before its fall uh, were false. Uh, does that mean that there was no discussion or consideration in the U.S. of a plan to defend Kabul in early August before its fall? There was never a, a discussion about a plan to defend Kabul before its fall. I will say that when I went to Doha, I took with me a graphic. It was a map of Kabul with a 30-kilometer ring on the outside. Our original proposal was the ta we would ask the Taliban to stay outside that ring, but we were not going to threaten them. We felt that was the best way to do deconfliction. However, on the day of the meeting, they were already in downtown Kabul, so the graphic was outdated, and yeah. we had to proceed from the new reality. Uh, Secretary Austin, I wanted to get your thoughts on this. Um, when I spent some time in the situation with, with room with you in 2014, when we were fearing, fearing the fall of Erbil and, and Baghdad, uh, U.S. CENTCOM commander immediately drove some con-ops on defending those positions using air assets. Uh, the effort was to buy time for the Iraqis and the Iraqi Kurds to reconstitute. Did it not cross your mind to consider something like that in early August before the fall of Kabul? Uh, it, it, uh, it, this is cer certainly something we, uh, we considered. You know, we took a look at uh, what we would need to do to protect the embassy, and if we had to do a, a NEO, what could we do to buy time for that, uh, that operation to take place? Yeah. Uh, Chairman Milley, I wanted to switch to you. Yesterday you said that you were asked on August 25th to, to make a decision about the August 31st deadline. Uh, was there an actual formal request made to the Taliban fight by the United States to stay past August 31st? Was that a request that was then denied uh, that you were taking into account in that decision? I don't make decisions, Congressman. I provide your recommendations. Well, I was asked for uh, what's called best military advice. <clears throat> I, I'm not aware uh, of a formal request to the Taliban one way or the other on saying pass the 31st. Uh, I am very familiar with the advice that we provided on the 25th. Before the fall of Kabul, did we actually have formal Taliban agreement upon an August 31st departure date? I'm not sure what you mean by formal, uh, but I do, I think that's Had, a had there ever been a point where the United States went to the Taliban saying that we are planning yeah, to leave on August 31st, sure. and I'm talking about prior to the fall of Kabul. Yeah, I, I think from a policy perspective, I, Zal Khalizade could give you the detailed information on that. Uh, I do believe the Taliban knew that we were departing on the 31st. We announced it. But you weren't aware of it? I'm not aware of a formal agreement, them. per okay. se. But I think Zal Khalizade could give you better uh, definition of that. General McKenzie, I want to turn back to you then, because you were saying that you talked with the Taliban on August 15th. Did you use August 31st as a date to end the operations? Was there a date set at all in your discussions with I them? did not use a specific date when I talked to them. So no date was set on August 15th? We, I, did not convey, I did not convey a specific date as part of my conversation. The, uh, I wanted to switch gears one more time here. Um, Secretary Austin, moving forward, when we're looking at the fundamental viability of the over-the-horizon effort, is the airspace over Afghanistan currently considered sovereign airspace? And I guess I'll frame it in a slightly different way. Is it currently legal for the United States to conduct ISR sorties and airstrikes in Afghanistan? Yes. Under what authority is that, is that legal? Well, same authorities we were using before. Uh, and that would be under the Security and Defense Cooperation Agreement of 2014? Is that correct? Uh, no. I think uh, what we're prosecuting now is uh, uh, are, are the authorities that uh, were referred to by General McKenzie earlier, and he's, uh, he mentioned that he would have to take that into a, into a, a uh, classified setting. Okay, well, I'll certainly follow with you that way. General McKenzie, something I wanted to follow up with you on. Yesterday in your hearing in front of the Senate, you made a comment when asked about the war on terror, and you said that the war on terror is not over, but then you also went on and said that the war in Afghanistan is not over. So I just wanted a clarification from you. In your opinion, is the war in Afghanistan over? So I, I believe the war in Afghanistan is not over. I believe we are no longer a party to that war, but that doesn't mean that ISIS and the Taliban aren't going to engage in a furious fight this fall uh, that may result in the, the ISIS being crushed or it may result oh, in ISIS Oh, I see. So you, when you're saying that you're referring that, that you, you believe that you know, there's a, a civil war in Afghanistan, but in terms of the, the United States war against Afghanistan, you would say that that is over. 
I, we have no forces in Afghanistan. Our only interest in Afghanistan is looking for ISIS-K and Al-Qaeda targets. Has expired. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.